I'm sure by now everyone has seen those large trays with all the meats and maybe some grapes, maybe some cheese all laid out. They call them charcuterie platters, charcuterie trays. But I'm taking a little liberty with that term today. We're going to make a chili charcuterie. And this is going to be smoked chili, right? We're going to get several different meats. We're going to smoke them. We're going to bring it all together in a pot with beans and seasonings. Of course, tomatoes. This is really going to be awesome. For the seasoning today, I'm using It's Incredible, which is one of my favorite salt, pepper, garlic rubs. Now I've got a beef roast here, which is about two and a half pounds, maybe a little more, along with three pork steaks that weighed less than one pound combined. We'll just want to season all sides of this meat. I like to use at least three different types of meat when making my chili. Now here I've got some mesquite wood. I want this meat to take on a good smoke flavor, so I'm adding five chunks. Now I'm setting this Kamado up for indirect cooking. If you're using a pellet grill, place the meat on the opposite end of your fire cup. Just get the lid closed and adjust the vent to cook between 275 and 300. And usually I put venison in my chili. Don't have any venison. We did have some chorizo, I'm not saying Chorizo and venison are substitutes for each other, but I'm going to include the chorizo today as soon as I get it browned up. Chorizo is somewhat greasy, so you'll want to drain this on a paper towel. Same skillet, we cooked the chorizo. I've got a pound of Angus ground beef we're going to brown up. So what I'm going to do in the interest of time is go ahead and start my onion and my green pepper. You could wait till the ground beef is done, but I just want to soften it up a little bit. Our onions are getting translucent, which is right where we want them to be. It's been three and a half hours, and this roast has a nice color, so I'm going to remove it from the smoke and the grill here. We want to start 12 ounces of dark beer. 28 ounces chopped tomatoes. These happen to be Rotel. Two cans. This is a can of Bush's beans. Be I should say Bush's chili beans. In sauce, one pound, 11 ounces. And I'm going to add one more. Well, there'll be room for the meat. And I just want to show you, that's that roast. Look at the great smoke ring in it. I let it cool down, shredded it up. Now we're going to put that roast and chorizo in here. And we may have to get another pot. We'll wait and see. Some of this will start cooking down once it gets on the heat. But I am certainly up at the edge here. Now we're going to put in that pork that we smoked as well. Just going to take, it'll shred up even more as it cooks so you don't have to worry. One third cup chili powder. Now, here's going to be our spice blend today, right? We got two tablespoons each, cumin, marjoram, thyme, one tablespoon each, ginger, celery stalk, dry mustard, cayenne pepper, one teaspoon, 100% cocoa powder. Let's get this goodness in there. What I'll do is just stir this up, won't make you watch. But here I've got about two tablespoons of minced garlic. And it just doesn't sound like enough to me. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half. That could have been two more. Our cast iron pot is not going to work because we've got more goodies still to put in there. So I've got a bigger pot. This way we can get the ingredients mixed up better. You can see all the tomatoes were still at the bottom in that smaller cast iron pot. Now we've got our ground beef, onions, and green peppers from earlier. I'll give this a big mix. 
And here I've got 32 ounces of chicken broth. You could also use beef broth. Let's get our chili on here. Get this lid on and get this lid down. It's time to get these chili fixings going. So I got a red onion. We're gonna go ahead and get this chopped up. So we like to put these red onions on the side. Some people really like onion, some people don't. So this gives the option. Now we're chopping up the jalapenos. I'm gonna do these really fine as well. First, I gotta get out the seeds. Time to get the different cheeses going. This is eight ounces of habanero cheddar. I like to shred my own cheese. I think it tastes better than pre-shredded cheeses. The cheddar cheese. This is a sharp cheddar. Or eight ounces of, I think, extra sharp cheddar. This, shred it up. Finally, we can get this chili going. This chili's getting close. Now I've got some andouille sausages. You never know, right? Somebody may want chili cheese dog. So we're going to get these on here. Got a few leftover chicken sausages. Hey, you could use hot dogs if that's what you wanted to use. We're just going to get these guys cooked up. Let me get this lid back down on the grill. We're getting close. It's time for the taste test, right? I think, I hope, that we've got just about any combination that somebody could want, right? You saw Tammy made multiple cheeses. We got the onions, the jalapenos. We've got the uh, dogs here. You can make yourself up a chili dog if you want. And I know it's just me and you, so can I use my fingers? Yeah, you want you want to fork I, for I, it. I'm from Cincinnati. We have the you know skyline chili and stuff, so I'm gonna have to have a little spaghetti in mine. Do you want some? Mm -hmm. Which kind? I want the spaghetti noodles. I think spaghetti. Okay. Now I know you know Texas people. You don't put the spaghetti in there. No issue, right? That's the whole kind of cool thing of having it this way because everybody can have it the way they want it. Now there's a spoon there if you want to mix yours up. What else are you looking for? Um, I want, I'm, I'll just kind of turn this and go, but I do want some cilantro that's over by you. Okay, it's right there, so you just have to reach out in front of me. I love me some cilantro. I'm going to have a little bit of this, and we've got, you know, if you're having this with your friends, we've got spoons and forks, but it's just she and I, so we're going to just reach in here, and I'm going to have a little green onion. She's got avocado, crema. <laughs> Cornbread over here. There's a lot going Those on. Red onions that we, uh, she cut up. I shouldn't say we. She cut up. You want me to spin it around so you can reach it all? Yes. Yeah, because I, I want avocado. We might have a cracker casualty here. If we got, <laughs> you know, it started out as chili charcuterie, but it might be more like a chili bar. You can see, we even have the hot sauces here. It, it, we, we try to have just what everybody might want, right? Avocado with some tahini on it. So you're probably mm -hmm. tired of hearing us talk. I at least am going to give this chili a try. Now, the chili cooked about, once you know I put it in the pot, put it on the grill, cooked about four and a half hours while we prepared everything else. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's super delicious. I want to get a piece of that roast. I just got one. It's delicious. Incredibly rich, very beefy. I'm telling you, this was a lot of fun. You could have 10, 15 people over. They could all choose how they want their chili. Thanks so much for watching another one of our videos. Thank you so much for coming out and helping me cut all this up. I don't think I could have got it done without you. Oh, you're so welcome.